Thank you for tuning in to Gospel News Escape. I would like to welcome you. We are a show that brings you the latest news and events in the Gospel Circle. As you know, my name is Yamohezu Muluzi, your host. Today, I am not alone. I am with the amazing Omega Kuno. Now, some of you might recognize him from a gospel group called Spirit of Praise, the one that we love. Now, um, before we waste any time and before I welcome him, let me just remind you at home to please uh, don't forget to take part uh, on, on, on our comment section and just send through your questions and any comments that you may have for our guest today. Now, Mr. Omega, welcome to Gospel News as a Hey, Kia, I greet you and all the Gospel News SA viewers uh, and followers. Greetings in the name of Jesus, and I'm excited to be uh, with you in this platform today. Amen, amen. We yes. are so grateful that you have literally created time to be with us today. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Awesome. Now, we're just going to hop right into it. Now, uh, first thing is first, we, we just really want to know about your journey obviously you started some way um right. how how was this revealed to you that you actually belonged in this uh, specific space right i was born in a, in a, in a family that served christ uh, my father is a pastor i'm a pk yeah right in yeah in a cost in coster so now uh, you know when you grow up in in, in in a pastor's house you will go to sunday school you will serve in church when you grow up and up until I was as granted an opportunity to to lead uh, the, the the worship team, you know, and then I think that's where now the gift uh, started to explore because now I will write songs, I will choose songs, uh, I will lead the whole group, uh, arrange the music for the church, and uh, 2000 and uh, 2000, the year 2000, yes, that's when then I decided to come to join us back. Uh, to pursue or to follow the career and work on it. Uh, I stayed in Johannesburg in 2000, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I released my first project called Messiah. Uh, that didn't do well at all because, you know, I was still new in the, in the music industry. And then uh, uh, it was followed by another one, Walk in the Light. That didn't do again uh, well. Uh, I was singing at Taxi Ranks, you know, trying to introduce myself. People will just throw in money there, but I'm fun, I'm a robot, you know. Uh, uh, they will, one will just buy, that time we're still selling even cassettes, eh? <laughs> you know, one will just buy a you know, cassette there, and then, you know, right? <laughs> it was, it was, it was terrible. And then um, uh, I, I went to Funda College while I was still trying to pursue the music, maybe thinking that, you know what, if I can just go do music theory as well, uh, uh, it will help. Then I went to Funda College in Soweto, to Kluf, Zone 6. Uh, I pushed there for about four years. And uh, I realized again that, you know what, it's good that I have this diploma. It's okay. But actually, this is not what my heart wants. My heart wants, you know, I want to be on stage. I want to be on TV. I want to be on radio and be famous, you know, and push the gospel. So um, uh, it couldn't work. Uh, but I still, I kept on saying, you know what, one day God will open uh, a door for me. So then that's when uh, 2010, yeah, 2010, I was singing in, yeah, you know, um, and yeah, that's 10 years later. That's when I was singing at, at, at in Soweto uh, in a funeral of one great pastor who died. Um, and then little did I know that uh, in that crowd, there'll be a, 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 a label manager from Spirit Music uh, who was there at that time. Yeah, so that's why most, most of the time I say to young people, you know, you must sing uh, uh, your heart out because you never know who's, who's there. It might be five people, it might be at the funeral, it might be at church, it might be at the birthday party, at the wedding, you will never know who's there. And I sang my, my, I sang my heart out at that funeral and that guy approached me and said, man, I'm from Spirit Music we need to talk. Yeah, and then, uh, that's when then I was invited to Spirit of Praise, Volume 3, 2010. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. You, you, you literally actually started quite very early with them, still on their, on their third volume. So yes. I would say that 
to be regarded as one of the family members now. <laughs> yeah, you can check it in the videos, man. I'm slim like, like yo, I mean, <laughs> you can see that, yo, that's, that's 2010. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. hard time flies. And also, I love, I love that um, what you've just shared right now is really um, a testimony in a sense because uh, you would see that uh, we, we try so hard to do things as human beings um, right. at the end of the day to try to, to reach the plan that we have for our own lives and so forth. But yeah. little do we know that once we leave everything and just let God take uh, care of each and every situation, when the time is yeah. right, he will happen. So yeah. that's just... You are, you are so right. You know, if we can understand that uh, promotion, season and time is in the hand of the Lord, then we will, we will really, yeah. You know, will ever will we'll be will be cool. You know, if I can use that word, yes, yes. Absolutely, that is beautiful. And now we're just gonna move on to to the next segment. We'll we'll catch up with you just a little bit um later yeah. on. But before I do that, I see here there's something from Spundo, uh, that I just wanna read quickly before we go on to the game. Uh, Spundo, um, he says, uh, the great man of God, and wow. there. Uh, <laughs> There is Japheth uh, K. Psalmist, and then he says he is watching all the way from Kenya. Oh, wow. Wow. How about wow. That? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm really humbled. Yo, from Kenya, man. You can imagine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now, we, we're quickly just going to go on to a game, um, Fundisi, and uh, rather, oh, why am I calling him Fundisi? Yeah. yeah, you know, please. <laughs> Minister, you know, I lately minister. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, we just are gonna hop into this. It says uh, the name of the game is called Quicker Box. Um, as right. you can see, it is all self-explanatory. Whichever box you wanna pick, just go for it. Uh, okay. Huh. Okay, let's do the middle center. Middle center. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Um, middle center says. Uh, what is your daily inspiration? And do you have any specific scriptures regarding this? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, my daily inspiration, uh, when I wake up, uh, I just want to see myself venturing into new ideas. You know, I, I push myself into that and, and, and knowing that I'm still within the purpose of God. You know, uh, 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 that inspires me to say, you know what, uh, uh, go write a new song. Go go do something, uh, read the word, pray, you know, uh, check what is new, you know, in the, in the, in, 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 in that sphere as a whole. And then I'm inspired by this scripture. Uh, it's a very common scripture, Romans 8, 28, for we know that all things, you know, if my, my day is bad, if things are not going right, if are not, things are not coming together, for we know that all things, not some, but all things, they work together for good. Even in COVID-19, COVID-19 is working together for good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True. That is uh, super, super beautiful. Now we, we're going to go one more time. Uh, you're just going right. to pick another. Yeah. <sighs> okay, let's do top right. Top right. Okay. Yes. Top right says, um, what is the one thing about you that people don't necessarily know? Hey. <laughs> okay <laughs> okay i think uh, uh it would be I'm, I'm okay i'm a soccer lover you know uh, i love soccer and then i played soccer actually uh, before you know uh, and i thought i was going to be a, a, a professional soccer player because uh, i remember uh, two, uh 2008 yeah i think 2000 and Eight, I even tried before my music thing came together. I even tried to go for 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 trials, go vets. You know, I invited some people to come for trials and so on. And then you know what? Everything was planned. You know, I say I'm going there. But you know, when I was just about to go, something said to me, you know what? This is not where you're going. You know, uh, so I think it was. I believe it was the voice of God. So yeah, I mean, the soccer player. People they don't know about that. <laughs> that is a sort of play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Manyapilu really speaking of you and like commentating what you would have been doing at the time. Yo, Omega. 
No, no, Vele. But uh, maybe not to worry, yeah, like you're alpha, you're omega, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Oh, awesome. So we're just going to hop now into the second game. It is called uh, Spin the Wheel. So the wheel is going to be displayed right there in front of you. Whenever you're ready, okay. you can just... Yeah, spin the wheel. Okay, uh, so I choose here. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Question two. Okay, so here you can just say stop. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, stop. It is on a uh, question four, and then question okay. four. Is, uh, um. <clears throat> hmm. One international artist you would like to work with? Ooh, Donnie McClarkin. Yeah, Donnie McClarkin. Why is that? Yep. Um, I followed him like from, from way back. You know, we know that uh, Donnie is, is a very old singer, and then I used to sing his songs at church, raising them with the choir. Uh, you know, so I love I love his ministry, and uh, I saw. He, I remember there was a time that he did his interview and it touched my heart and I could follow, you know, uh, what he was saying because it was kind of relating to what I was going through. Then I, I followed him, you know, something, something hymns that is the best uh, or my favorite album that Donny released. So I followed him from way back. So, and moreover, because he's a pastor, you know, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's awesome. Uh, we are going again for spin the wheel. Whenever you're ready, just say stop. All right. Stop. Right. That is question number six. Uh, question okay. number six is, is, is more really of a personal one. It says, if you were to get an opportunity to meet um, our president, what is it that you would say to him? Um, I will appreciate him. Uh, and then I will honor him, and I will, I will, I will, I will even though I'll be young, you know, <laughs> not in his level, but I will release a blessing over him, you know, uh, uh, of which I did already. <laughs> yeah, we were in, we were in Rustenburg actually uh, for the rally at ANC. I was invited to come and perform, and then uh, I, I got an opportunity to to shake his hand and take a picture, and I told him that say, uh, serial. Ramaphosa, I really appreciate and I really bless God for your life. May he protect you. And the reason why I'll do that is because at times when we see them, we see an opportunity of complaining, of saying whatever that is in our minds and all that and ask. Mm -hmm. But at times I think these people, they need us to, 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 to bless them and appreciate them and love them and tell them that, you know what, we are praying for you and uh, uh, be strengthened. We are behind you. So that's what I'll do. Wow. Wow. That is actually the first, the first point of um, different direction that I've heard ever since we've had that question. <laughs> oh, so that wow. Is, I must say. Oh, that is thank you. Thank you. So now we, we are now getting on to the last uh, game. Uh, this one is called right. Singer. Um, okay. So <laughs> there are six words over there displayed for you. Grace, mercy, love, the cross, faithfulness, righteousness so all you get to do is just choose one word and sing any song that really relates to you any language. okay 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 I, i'll can i choose me can i choose mercy yes absolutely then i sing a song about mercy yes go for it as if, as if i knew that you were gonna say i'm gonna sing so i've got my piano in front of me so it, Yeah. Mercy rewrote my life. Mercy rewrote my life. I could have fallen my soul cast out but mercy 
Real my life. Before you get in the spirit, let's stop. <laughs> oh, oh, God. This oh, song is God. a beautiful song. And, and honestly, I think um, anybody that has conquered through very hard times um, yes. really, really know what this song means. And it would definitely mean something to them. Amen. 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 So um, before I go any further, I'm just going to uh, read here a comment uh, from Mabokwane Stephen. Um, All right. I saw very beautiful that he wrote there. Uh, he says, eh, I love your heart. May the good wow. Lord continue to bless you. Oh, man. That is so humbling. You know? mm. That is so... To hear such words from, from people that follow our ministry, it's really encouraging, you know, and to say, you know, they, they're looking at you and then they say, we appreciate your work. That is why it's important even us as ministers to appreciate them, to love them, moreover, to practice what we preach before them so that we may not disappoint them, you know. Uh, anyway, it's gospel, you know. Yeah. So uh, we, we have to be humble at all times. And when we go up, go, when we go down, God will lift us up. Yeah, mm. thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Now, I just want to ask something. What are some of the hardest um, challenges that you've, you've experienced throughout this journey? And how would you say you, you got to really conquering them and being in the place that you're at? Yeah, I remember it was between 2007 and, and, and yeah, between 2006 and 2007 where I was now homeless in Johannesburg. I didn't even have a place to stay. I couldn't afford rent. Um, and I couldn't, I didn't want even to call home because I know my father will say, come back and serve <laughs> at church, you know, because uh, they wouldn't want their child to suffer like that. And then I remember I, I went to Park Station and, and, and stayed there for about uh, three weeks, you know, uh, just to find a shelter, you know, and say, you know what, I'm not going home. I'm just gonna hide here. And then in the morning before uh, park station gets to be busy, I'll go to the bathrooms there and change because I, I always had my bag. So I'll bath and just, and just sit around park station, just look at people, sometimes ask for money just to have something to eat. But I said to myself, look, uh, I'm not going back home. I'm here for, 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 for my dream and I'm gonna get it. So it was so difficult, you know. And then, um, mo and then other challenges again is uh, it is when I was knocking doors at music com uh, music companies, and they will tell me that yeah, you know, you know what, uh, we we hear you, but you are not a good singer, you know, for our stable, uh, we don't we don't really feel your music, and then your voice <laughs> is not just what we want, and uh, uh, most uh, the most difficult thing is that uh, I will leave even my my demos, my music there. And then you'll hear somebody singing it. And when you go back, uh, you don't have the case to raise because how, you don't have a lawyer, uh, you don't have a proof, you know. Uh, so uh, it was difficult. And even when I get, even after, even after I got my break in the music industry, when I joined Spirit of Praise Volume 3, I did a song there called Hayo that began to open doors for me. And I would be invited to shows and churches. And so you'll meet musicians there when you try to approach them and they will give you this kind of, you know, attitude and say, who are you, you know, you know, uh, you, you know, and then I will feel like, oh, Lord, is this gospel? It is, is this people that I, I used to look, you know, from far and appreciate them? You will feel that and they will, they will make you really feel that you are not uh, 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 welcomed, but um uh, I will, I will, I will just, yeah. But I'll just say, Lord, it's, it's, it's all good. But um, I made it, you know, to, to this far with all that. Wow. I, I literally just imagined everything that uh, you were saying right now. But hey, God pulls us through at the end of the day. Yes, 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 yes. So um, I just want to quickly go to a comment here from Dudu Wetang Emiso, who says, "Love you, Omega, all the way from wow. Botswana." <laughs> wow, love you too, Julieta. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Botswana, Botswana is my, Botswana is my, is my second home. I, I perform there most of the time. You know, <laughs> I think Botswana uh, 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 on a normal basis. You know, I go there, probably maybe uh, uh, 
five times or six times in the year, you know, you know, they keep calling me. Even before lockdown, uh, I had some bookings in Botswana. I think I had five already, but because of the COVID-19, then all that was stopped. But thank you, Julia Tsang, I'm coming to Botswana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, we just want to know, uh, since, since this whole coronavirus thing started, you know, people yeah. have been going through a lot, especially this this uh, industry of music, or rather, let me say entertainment um, right. industry as a whole. So is there anything that you have been busy with, or what is it that you've yeah. been working on? Yeah. By the grace of God, uh, I've, I've released an EP uh, uh, titled Restored. It is now available on all digital platforms. Uh, so people can get it there. Uh, it's available like now. You can just go there, stream it, and then you'll find it. It's Omega Kuno Restored. It's got uh, beautiful uh, tracks. Uh, the first one is Bona Wathaina Baru. And then yeah. number two uh, is the song that I wrote, Itemba Lam. And then there's another one, uh, Ngi Aboma. And the last one, uh, Siwa Bonile. So they can get it from there. And then apart from, 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 from that, uh, every Sunday I've been doing my, my worship sessions uh, since uh, the first weekend of lockdown. Every Sunday, 10 a.m., even this morning I did it. You know? So I, I just said, you know what, I think it's a good time to engage uh, to our followers because at times we don't give them that opportunity and serve them you know, free of charge and so on. So I, I saw an opportunity and say, you know, it's time that they, you know, they comment, I read their names, I bless them, you know, I spend time with them so that they can see Omega uh, out of stage. What is he, is he a worshiper when he sees people only or he can worship even, you know, when there's no crowd and so on. And I believe that because it's the calling, I've been getting so many uh, testimonies of the live sessions, what they have been doing to people. Somebody said, I wanted to commit suicide, but after your session, you know what, my stress, depression, it just went down. So thank you. So I, I really bless God for that. It has been a great, actually, my highlight for COVID-19 lockdown, it will be that, you know, uh, spending time with these people, praying with them and encouraging them through the word. Yeah. Hmm. That is, that is so, so beautiful. And, you know, we, we have, we also faced with um, the uh, gender-based violence uh, situation. Yeah. Like, what is it that you would say to, to all the perpetrators out there? You know, just a, a message, you know, maybe some of them even need love. Maybe some of them don't even want to do what they do, you know, but yeah. they are in this thing. Um, what would you say to, to somebody like that? Well, yeah, like you're saying, some of them, they, 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 they really come back to their senses after they've committed that, you know, mm -hmm. and then, but uh, we want to say to them, um, uh, uh, think before you do something, you know, uh, uh, think take time and, 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 and say, this is a human being, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and then not forgetting that we are all here because of the woman. And, and then if, if you, are, you, are, you, are a, you are a man and you want to abuse a, a, a lady, your mother, your sister, or your, your wife or girlfriend, think that, you know what, this, this person, you know, just like my mother who carried me for, for nine months, you know, in, my, in, 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 in her belly and then, why should I do this? So, uh, you know, we know that people, we, we get angry and we've got uh, some, we didn't, grew, we didn't grow up the same. We've got our different ex experiences, how we grew up, but uh, that doesn't condone or that doesn't give you a right to, to kill or to abuse someone. They, they have a right to live as well. They've got dreams and they've got visions and they've got goals that they want to achieve. So think before your actions, rather, rather go away, you know, or rather divorce her, you know, than killing her, you know. Uh, I mean, you can maybe find a, 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 a happiness out there with someone, but don't kill that child, you know. That child experience future, rather go, rather go away, you know. Just, just go away, just walk back and just, you know, like, it's, I'll find happiness somewhere, but don't kill, man. don't kill. Yeah. So I, I really say, to all the guys that did this on behalf, actually on behalf of them, to all, to the ladies, uh, we say we are sorry for those actions. Uh, and may God find, uh, may God give you some, uh, I don't know, may God give you grace, you know, to carry all this and, and be strengthened. We know that this is causing pain to you people. And we say, may God uh, uh, strengthen you, uh, be bold, um, you are special. 
and we, 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 we appreciate. There are guys, there are men like Omega out there who appreciate you, who love you and who wish you well and who wants to protect you at all the time. So may God uh, keep you. Oh, wow, that is beautiful. Uh, before we wrap up, I just want to quickly uh, read um, one comment here from, uh, didn't really get the name, I'm gonna say it just now. Um, right. This is from Mampei eh, Mafosa. She says, um, your, your humility and love are amazing and God has mercy on you. We love you too. Wow, wow, wow. You know, all the time when people uh, uh, come to me, uh, uh, yeah, and then they say, uh, they, they, okay, they talk to me or they, uh, they applaud me of something. They will always talk about uh, my humility. And, yeah. and that's my prayer to God to say, Lord, keep me like that. You know, yeah. even, even when you raise me up, uh, keep me like that. And at times I pray, I pray and say, Lord, uh, the more I go up, uh, please even hide some of the things that are so great that are coming my way so that I will, I'll, I'll remain humble. Because at times yeah, we see big things that God is doing for us and they make us turn and they make us forget and they make us lose who we are. So I pray to God at times and say, Lord, I see this is great, but with, 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 with your hand, hide so that I may see what you are doing for me uh, so that I remain humble. I don't want uh, pride to, to overpower me and I lose uh, myself. So humility. Oh, wow. Amen. We have another one from, uh, uh, this is the last one that we're going to take in, just in the interest of time. Uh, it is right. from Justin. Induza. Uh, he says, Omega, please keep on the great work, Omega, wow. and please keep the flag high for your friends. Wow. I remember in 2016 when I invited you and Nay for two days wow. conference, really messed up the place. I loved your Shoot. energy and passion you guys had with Nay. Greetings from oh, Victoria. Man. Oh, man. Oh, God. Whew, yeah, yeah. You know, when 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 someone touched the subject of nay, you know, the whole environment does change. You know, but mm -hmm. thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, and then we honor those opportunities. Uh, of course, uh, nay was a dear brother and a friend to me. Uh, it's going to be with the Lord. We shared good moments together. Um, it's difficult now, even to can find a partner for friends in praise because I. He left big shoes for that. And then me and Nay, we didn't have that, that you know, business thing, you know, jewel. It was, it, was, it was just so special. The chemistry between us, it was just God's ordained jewel that wanted to bless people, uh, inspire young people. I mean, young people will come to us and say, Omega Nay, how can we do it? You know, I will look at Nay and say, what can we say to these people? Because what we have, we didn't realize it. We don't, we didn't like, is it is there, you know, it was just something that is there from God. And we didn't, even, we, we were failing to, to can tell them that, you know what, and what can you do? So the only thing that I will say, I will respond, I will say to them, you know what, go pray to God to, to reveal or to show you someone that can be a jewel to you, that can be a close friend. God will reveal to you. That's the answer that we are going to give it to them. But thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you yeah. so much. You know, I just want you to uh, give us any of your closing remarks. Um, and before you do that, just give us your social media handles where we can get hold of you and just a goodbye message to the people out there. <laughs> right. On my personal Facebook and page, I am Omega Kuno. And then uh, that's, that's just type Omega Kuno. You, you will see me. Unfortunately, my personal is... It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's rude, but uh, you can they can follow me at my page. So it's Omega Kuno, and on Instagram uh, they start with Sene. So it's Kuno Omega, and Twitter Omega Kuno. You'll find me there. And my closing remarks: I'll just say to people, let's hold on, uh, just for a little while. We we we're almost there. David says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. This is just a shadow. That we are going through, you know, and we are, we are, he says, even though I walk through, so that means we are walking through, <laughs> we are passing, it is just a season that we are finding ourselves into, and then we want to go out there, and we stand on the other side, and we lift up our hands and our voices, and we say to God, Ebenezer, so there's no way that God will bring us to the Red Sea, 
and it's gonna fail to open it up for us. So when we get to the Red Sea, the same God will open the Red Sea and we're gonna pass and we'll celebrate. So be courageous, don't lose hope, focus, pray to God. And, uh, and, and you know what, I love you with all my heart and thank you for your support and, and, and your love, yes. Amen, amen. And we yeah. are so grateful to have had you today for the Sankasa Jesus. Yeah. And that the yeah. And so yeah. Do not forget, Loe Nahore. The next time you do release a song, we do have a yeah. platform every Friday. Oh. So you can ask for Mrs. A and you can launch yes. um, with your music with us. But we are so Amen. to have had you here today. And um, yes. all the best that you're going to be taking part in. And may God bless you. Thank you very, very much, Kia, and the whole crew of Gospel SA. I love you and I appreciate you. And we're going to meet soon again. Thank you Amen. very much. Amen. Okay. Well, that was the amazing Omega Kuno. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Thank you for all those that took part uh, in the comment section. We will see you again uh, next time, next week, actually. You know, uh, every weekend is Gospel News as a weekend. We cannot wait to see you. Take care. Yeah. Until then. <laughs> Bye-bye.